Okay, welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about women's health and how research is failing to protect mothers. I am Professor Khaled Khan. I am based at the University of Granada in Spain. And today with me, we have uh, Dr. Muna Sheikh, who is based in London. I'm going to ask her to give a brief introduction about herself now. Hello everyone, I, my name is Dr. Sheikh and I am GP principal in London and surrounding areas and um, I am visiting Granada at the moment. Okay, thank you and uh, welcome to Granada. Uh, in today's uh, vlog, we will cover uh, some findings from this meta-analysis of over uh, of around 100,000 uh, pregnant mothers who were then followed up to see if they developed any chronic conditions. So, to begin with, what is women's health? If you look at it from the age perspective, at the earlier age you have pediatric and adolescent gynecology, and at the older age you have uh, uh, things related to aging, uh, but we often also think about in the reproductive age uh, issues related to contraception, fertility uh, and uh, then comes menopause, cancer and pelvic floor problems. In effect, it's not possible to define women's health by textbook diagnoses because the range of conditions included are not just gynecologic and obstetric conditions. In fact, women's lifestyle choices have a strong impact on their health. So, not to forget that women's health issue, not only important for individuals, uh, but also their families and uh, the society as a whole. So, we now move on to look at some issues related to pregnancy and childbirth, recognizing this is only a small part of the whole spectrum of uh, women's health issues covered in services uh, for healthcare. So on a global scale, here we see the geographical distribution of countries where nearly 75 percent of maternal mortality occurs. Within these countries, the coverage of maternal and child health tends to be limited even in, uh, in, in the low to middle income country band when we look at the higher income quartile, the coverage uh, is not, not nearly as much as it should be. Uh, it is around at around a 75 percent level. The reality is that every second of every day four women give birth. Of these every minute one woman dies and research in women's health ought to address the issue of the risk to women during pregnancy and childbirth. So if you look at a few conditions that uh, affect women during pregnancy, preeclampsia is one of them. Here we see around the millennium, the time period and percentage of uh, this problem in pregnancy at developed country level shows no sign of change. If you look at preterm birth, here we can see that although low birth weight may be uh, reducing in uh, percentage, uh, but the uh, preterm birth rate itself is possibly on the rise. Stillbirths falling but at a very low rate, caesarean section rates rising and the problem of obesity rising too. So I'm going to ask Dr. Muna to comment on uh, what is her view as a practitioner on, uh, on, on, on the issues highlighted uh, here? 
Well, thank you, um, um, Professor Khan. Um, I totally agree with you about uh, obesity and obesity on the rise um, again. And um, it is well observed in the UK as well that obesity is rising and especially in the reproductive age that does have an impact on all conditions that you were mentioning earlier. And yes, um, um, I think um, we, we in healthcare does need to um, address these um, issues, especially obesity in, in primary care, starting from primary care, I think. Yes, so if you look at uh, the sheer avalanche of publications that have emerged in the scientific literature concerning women's health, you would have thought that these problems would have been brought under control. And the question thus arises, has research failed to protect mothers? And this becomes a pertinent question when we look at the developed country scenario, where it appears that uh, the maternal mortality rates appear to be rising, not falling. On this, you have any comment? Uh, Dr. Mona? Um, yes, uh, maternal mortality rates are increasing in um, some countries, including um, UK, and this um, highlights a gap in both maternal health care and research, which is, I think, needed to improve the outcomes in, in women's health and maternal mortality. Yes, so I think uh, people like me who have spent their last three decades uh, undertaking uh, various forms of research, meta-analysis, randomized trial, that to ask ourselves, did we address the right questions? What did we achieve for uh, the women population during this time? One of the things uh, that we did pick up is the recognition that pregnancy itself offers a window into what the future health for a woman would look like. And here we see that obese uh, women or weight gain issues related to pregnancy uh, tend to be associated with later development of hypertension. And when we look across the spectrum of risk factors, and examine their predictive capacity for later development of type 2 diabetes, we see once more that gestational diabetes um, is a predictor, as well as issues related to obesity. So here we can touch upon the reality that on identification of risk factors during pregnancy, there is a possibility that an opportunity arises to undertake prevention for chronic disease in the future. On this, uh, Dr. Muna, what would be your uh, opinion? Yeah, I think so. Um, especially in primary care, I think there is a big gap and we can work on it <clears throat> because uh, we have first and foremost access to all these women um, during pregnancy and then once they've delivered and then for long-term um, prevention of chronic diseases um, and obviously screening very, very importantly, which pregnancy did for us. So, yeah. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. So, so, just to, uh, just to summarize, uh, we commented upon the gap that exists between, yeah. uh, between research and, uh, and the actual outcome for, for pregnant uh, women. And uh, we hope that you will be able to comment uh, in light of your own experiences, whether you are uh, a midwife, primary care practitioner, gynecologist, or a mother uh, who has experience of seeking services uh, uh, during pregnancy. Uh, so that based on your comments, uh, we can uh, prepare our uh, future uh, video materials. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.